Okay, everyone. So now we are making the program of add, subtract, multiply, and divide two integers using pointer. So first of all, we are going to the void main. Main is the driving function, and we are providing the curly braces. Inside that, first of all, we are giving a message to the user. Printf means printing on the screen that enter two numbers. Here we want to take these two numbers, so that means these two numbers should be declared. So we are using the integer variables n1 for the number one, n2 for the number two. Now afterward we are asking from the user to enter two numbers, so we need the scanf statement. So we are saying that scanf. Then afterward we need two numbers from the user, so we are saying percentage d, percentage d. Then afterward. comma at the address of n1 we are taking the first number and at the address of n2 we are taking the second number so these two numbers we are taking from the user now we need the pointer here so first of all we are declaring the pointer we are saying comma star first time star means declare p1 as the pointer comma star means declared p2 it is also the pointer now afterward we are saying that P one is a pointer which is having the address of number one. Then afterward, we are saying P two is a pointer which is having the address of number two. As we are using the printf and scanf functions, so here on the top we need to include the header file. So we are saying hash include stdio dot h, which is the standard output header file for printf and scanf functions. Now we are going to execute this code. So going on the execute, compile and run. So here we are having the output window. It is saying enter two numbers. Let's say I am entering the number which is one is sixty and second one is twenty and press enter. So program is over because I have not given anything afterward. Now we are understanding that what this code is doing. First of all, we are having the Comment that add, subtract, multiply, and divide two numbers using pointer. So compiler will not read that because this is the comment. Afterward, we are having the hash include, which is a preprocessive directive to include the header file stdio, which is standard for header file for printf and scanf functions. Dot h for header file. Void means no return type. Main is a driving function. Then we are saying int n1. So here. one variable is declared into the memory with the name n1 let's say its address is 301 then n2 so one more variable is declared into the memory that is n2 let's say address is 401 these two are the normal variables so they will contain the value then afterward we are having star p1 star signify declare Whenever first time we are using the star, then it says that declare the pointer. So star p1, that means we are declaring a pointer. The name is p1. Let us suppose the address is seven zero one. Then star means declare pointer two. So here one more variable is declared of pointer type p2. Let's say address is eight zero one. Pointer variable contain the address. So here n1 and n2 contain the value and p1 and p2 contain the address. Then afterward, printf printing on the screen. Enter two numbers. So here on the user screen, enter two numbers. Then scanf percentage d and d. So take two values from the user. So 60 and 20. These values are taken. And first value is going to add the address of n1. So here at n1, 60 is stored. Then at the address of n2, second value is stored. So here twenty is stored at n2. Then afterward, p1 is equal to address of n1. That means p1 contain address of n1. What is the address of n1? That is three zero one. So p1 contain three zero one. And p2 is equal to address of n2. So p2 contain address of n2, which is four zero one. So here four zero one is there. So hypothetically, we can say that p one is a pointer which is containing the address of n one. Mean means it is pointing to the n one, and p two is a pointer which contains the address of n two. That means it is pointing to the n two. Now afterward, we are moving further. 
on the code now we want to apply the first operation that is add so let us suppose that i am taking one variable a here so i am saying that for the addition a is equal to now we want to access through the pointer we know that whenever we want to fetch the value so we are using the star so we are saying star pointer 1 plus star pointer 2 then afterward we have fetched those values using pointer now is the time to print so we are saying that printf addition and then afterward we are saying percentage d and in the percentage d we are using the a now we are going to execute this program so we are going to execute compile and run so here we are having the output window it is saying enter two numbers we are seeing the same numbers let's say 60 and 20 now enter we can see that the addition is 80 now we are understanding that how the further code is working we know that we have first of all taken two numbers which is 60 and 20 then we have initialized the pointer now we are saying a so one more variable a is defined into the memory and let us suppose that that memory address is 901 because here we have declared int a now it is saying that star p1 understand that first time i am using the star that means declare second time i am using the star that means fetch the value where pointer is pointing so understand that star p1 so p1 is pointing on address of n1 and the value here is 60 so here the first thing is replaced with the 60 then further plus so plus is taken star p2 star means fetching the value so here p2 is pointing to the address of n2 and here the value is 20 so that means 60 plus 20 and there that is nothing but 80 so 80 is stored inside the variable a so variable a contain 80 now afterward printf means printing on the screen add so here add is coming percentage d for the integer value it is taking from a and a contain 80 so here it is coming now we are moving further for the next operations now afterward we want to apply the subtract operation so we are taking one variable let's say s here so we have declared in the same manner we are saying s is equal to now star asterisk sign for fetching the value so p1 from the pointer we are fetching the value minus then again fetching the value through the pointer p2 and we are saying that printf then subtract percentage d that is for the integer value then comma s so in the similar manner we want to apply the multiply operation so we are saying one variable m then we are going here and we are saying multiply is equal to star for fetching the value of pointer one then multiply again star fetching the value of p2 then afterward we are saying printf multiply percentage d for the integer value then comma we are saying is m so here we have showed the multiply then the third operation is divide so we need one more variable let's say d here so we are going afterward and we are saying divide is equal to star asterisk sign for fetching the value of pointer one then divide then again star means fetching the value of pointer two then further we are saying printf then afterward we are saying divide then percentage d for the integer value then comma we are saying d here we can note one thing all the things are coming into different color they are looking like the comment you can see that by double slash we made the comment but there is one more thing by which we can give the comment that is the slash and star so by slash and star we can provide the comment so that means they together are giving different meaning so you have to go there and provide one space so you can see that again the code is back you can see that there also there are two star one star p1 for fetching the value of pointer one again star p2 for fetching the value of pointer two and star for the multiply don't confuse between that if you are getting confused you can provide one space that 
star p1 multiply with the star p2 and if you are not getting confused then you can combine not a problem now i'm providing the slash n before every line for the better readability so here before every line we are providing the slash n we know that slash n is for the next line now afterward we are going and executing this code so execute compile and run here we are having the output screen is saying enter two numbers we are giving the same numbers let's say 60 then afterward 20 press enter we can say that add 80 subtract 40 multiply 1200 divide 3 now we are understanding that how the output is coming we know that first of all we have taken the two numbers from the user so here 60 and 20 is already taken then we have taken two pointers p1 and p2 they already have the address of n1 and n2 then further we have already discussed the add part so addition we have performed that is 80 now afterward in the similar manner we have declared one variable s so in the memory there is one variable declared that is s let's say the address of s is 909 now afterward s is equal to star p1 we know that first time whenever we use the star that means declare so pointer p1 is already declared then afterwards second time if i am using the star that means fetching the value so p1 value we are fetching and we know that p1 is pointing to the address of n1 and the value is 60 so here 60 then afterward minus then star for fetching the value of p2 so p2 point to the address of n2 and the value is 20 so here 60 minus 20 is nothing but 40 so s contain 40 now afterward printf means printing on the screen slash n for the new line subtract so here subtract is displayed then percentage d is taking the value from s whose value is 40 so 40 is displayed now further we are having one more variable that is m so another variable is declared into the memory that is m let's say the address is 101 now here we are using star p1 so star p1 means fetching the value of p1 so p1 pointer pointing to the address of n1 and the value is 60 so 60 is taken then further star means to multiply again star p2 fetch the value where the pointer is pointing p2 is pointing on address of n2 and here the value is 20 so 16 to 20 that is equal to 1 to double zero so here in the m we have 1 to double zero then afterward printf printing on the screen session for the new line multiply so here multiply is showing then percentage d is taking value from the m and the m value is 1200 that is shown on the user screen then further we have declared one more variable that is d so here we have declared let's say d variable maybe the address we are assuming is 201 then further star p1 means fetch the value where pointer p1 is pointing p1 is pointing on address of n2 and the value is 60 so here 60 is taken then divide so divide it star p2 so fetch the value of p2 pointer so it is pointing on n2 and the value is 20 so here 60 divided by 20 that is nothing but 3 so here in the d we are storing the 3 now printf printing on the screen slash n for the new line divide so here divide percentage d is taking the value from d and the d value is 3 so on the user screen we are having so here we can see that using the pointers p1 and p2 we have fetched the value of n1 and n2 n1 and n2 are the normal variables p1 and p2 are the pointer variable normal variable contain value pointer variable contain address so this is how using the pointer we have performed add subtract multiply and divide operations so that is the program of add, subtract, multiply and divide to integers using pointer.